Okay, uh, this is the uh, uh, tutorial for the InDesign uh, for beginners. Um, so if you haven't had any experience with InDesign, uh, hopefully this helped. So I prepared the uh, six different images of Arches National Park. So I created uh, one new folder, Arches in Design, and images folder insight and six different images, uh, all JPEGs. Uh, from online. So let's get started. Open in design, uh, create new document, and we're going to make a print. And each page will have a letter size. So I didn't have five, I didn't have. And so let me change the unit to inches. Uh, then I will leave everything just as it is and create it okay so this is the end uh, the very first page and then since we're going to create um, pages spread two pages kind of facing each other so let's make open your pages tab create two more new pages one two so page number two and page number three that's the pages we're going to use okay so um, let's start from the very beginning uh, so I'm going to have a title first so let me draw uh, the text box to fit uh, don't worry about the size of this text box we can make changes uh, but um, just to make it to fit uh, the width of this page and the title is going to be Arches National Park. Arches National Park. So it's a pretty small. So there are the several different ways of changing the type size. Uh, you can open the character. If you do not have a character panel on your right, uh, go to Windows menu, Types and Tools, and choose the character or shortcut command T okay. and then we may make it bigger like this shortcut is uh, command shift and then uh, the angular right bracket so like looks like the um, um, arrowhead make it bigger smaller bigger and smaller so Arches National Park uh, I may change my typeface okay so it's okay uh, a little bit smaller or I may break Arches National Park and this one will make it a little bit bigger Arches okay I like it National Park let me increase my uh, text block size a little bit block a little bit bigger let me highlight second line okay so it looks good and let me make it fit I can change the text color later so Arches National Park okay and the second I want to have my images so there are several different ways. So first I'm going to draw uh, the rectangle frame. So let me draw image frame to fit certain area like this. And then we're going to browse the image into this area. So go to file, uh, place. Uh, my images folder is on my desktop, arches in design images. Uh, let me choose one of them 
um, maybe this open so it fits but it doesn't present the um, um, the Arches National Park images uh, properly uh, it's all cropped so go to object menu there is a uh, fitting options let me try the fill frame proportionally then we see that so Arches National Park like this okay uh, one more thing we can try is um, so this is a kind of basic settings rectangular there are more options like uh, the ellipse frame tool or a polygon style or so we can try that or uh, in your toolbox choose the pen tool uh, maybe this time add anchor point the plus pen tool and click somewhere here on the border and then let me change my tool to a converted direction point tool and just to drag it or either way and we can have some different shapes like this and do it again select your frame add anchor point click here so add anchor point and then convert direction tool and just to drag it okay so our chest national park okay then second uh, now i want to have some text block so first the thing i want to try is um, first let me have some kind of a subheadings first subheadings um, I'm gonna type uh, maybe different typeface this time just a regular let me try um, just a Times New Roman Times New Roman maybe bold okay. travel guide okay. make it a little bit bigger and we will make it fit okay or maybe um, I better change this to that direction I think that will work better okay travel guide okay then uh, let me draw one text block uh, here I'm planning to have a two text column so I'm um, make it a little bit narrower than half of this page and maybe just like this then let me change the text size to 10 point um, under type menu I'm going to fill with the pr uh, placeholder text it's under the type menu almost on the bottom fill with placeholder text so I have a text block okay uh, and then what happened is if I make it a little bit smaller like this if I reduce the other size of my text block you can see that uh, the red plus button thing meaning uh, there is uh, some text are missing so uh, with the selection tool click on that and now you can see that kind of uh, some missing text and then right next to um, the, this current text block draw another one and it is linked then I will fill with the placeholder text again okay. let me make it a little bit bigger uh, to the bottom 
Okay. So it's okay layout. It's not too bad. And another thing I want to try is um, to notify the end, the beginning of a new paragraph. Uh, another popular way is using the drop cap. So with the zoom tool, uh, I will zoom in a little bit. and then place my mouse cursor right before my first letter so I want to make this le first letter F uh, way bigger and we call that drop cap so drop cap is under your paragraph panel this panel is also under windows types and tables and paragraph okay so now I will define the uh, how big and how small it's going to be. So if I increase this number, now you can see that 2, it takes the um, uh, occupies uh, the heights of uh, 2 lines or 3 lines, 4, 5. Let me try 3. So this is drop cap. Okay, so now next, um, on my second page, uh, let me say I want to have this time uh, three columns of text block. Uh, let me have a, uh, the another uh, subtitle first. So I'm going to copy this so I can keep the, um, uh, the consistency. So I hold down the option, maybe an Alt key if you're using PC keyboard, make a copy. I'm going to say not travel guide this time with different subheadings um, things to do to do at arches okay and this time I'm going to import the um, the multiple images at a time so first go to file place let me choose the other uh, three images from here one I'm gonna choose this uh, yeah maybe this let me hold down the command key two and three yeah this three open now it comes with the kind of thumbnails uh, of my selected images so place your images on the left and drag it do not release your button just drag it until it fits the width of your page and on your keyboard while you keep pressing your mouse button hit uh, right arrow key once and twice Okay, and then let me change the size of this a little bit and then uh, I want to go to object menu fitting and fill frame proportionally so it fits so every all the each image has the kind of same size okay then let me draw one text block for each like this character type size is going to be 10 this time again and then let me fill with placeholder text as we did and I'm going to make a copy of this uh, option press your mouse button and drag it so we have three okay and there's one more thing I want to show you um, on my very first page I have a kind of main kind of images and also I want to have some images in between somewhere here okay uh, let me try this one first uh, my text column I 
uh, if you open the, your paragraph um, what I'm gonna do is in my paragraph options in here um, I will just keep uh, as it is and then let me insert the image in between so let me draw this time um, ellipse frame tool let me draw um, kind of a one perfect circle in the middle and then file place let me choose one of my image maybe this open so it goes into it uh, the image size is pretty big so again once you import images, go to object menu, change the feeding option. So let me try fill frame uh, proportionally. So this is what I have. Okay. Then, uh, this current image is kind of uh, uh, covering my text block on the bottom. So I want to have my text block presenting around my image area it's called the text wrap so select your image select your image and then text wrap it is under also window type tools and mm, what is that oh the text wrap here choose wrap around the object shape and we can control the gap the space in between the image area and text block see So this is the one thing we can try. Now let's do another type of a text uh, text wrap. That is um, in Photoshop. Let me open one of my image. Um, not this one. Yes, this. What I'm gonna do is I want to uh, clip the. Um, outline of this arch so let me do it kind of quickly quick thing uh, by using the pen tool um, I'm a big fan of pen tool let me unlock this layer I'm going to just clip just the arches um, so let me do something from here let me do it kind of a quickly option next point next point Um, maybe uh, if you can get kind of a more details that would be even better uh, but uh, let me do it kind of quick thing using my pen tool So once you're done with the um, this clipping path, we're going to get rid of um, the background, so uh, we can have transparent background image. And we'll be saving as Photoshop generic file, PSD file, and then we can browse it into uh, InDesign. Alrighty. Okay. I'm almost there. Okay, and then I will leave the inside just as it is. So go to path, make selection, um, no feather. Okay, and then. Uh, under select menu inverse the selection so I can select the everything but my arch now and hit the delete so no background now and let me save it as um, same name but um, extension must be PSD so um arch.psd save it 
now back to InDesign and I'm going to have my um, text block first uh, maybe another subtitle okay things to do and then um, I don't know maybe events oh no events and let me place my arch.psd um, no let's try to make the other text block first that would be easier so I'm gonna draw uh, one text block maybe um, maybe just like this somewhere like a two columns okay and character size will be 10 again and then let me fill with the placeholder text and I'm gonna try maybe another uh, drop cap like we did under paragraph um, like this and then this time for my uh, paragraph option I'm going to choose the justify like this so I can keep the same length of each line not the plus left plus left or plus right so justify then let me have another text block right next to it or just um, just like this and same thing and fill with <clears throat> placeholder text you can adjust it a little bit okay then um, let me place um, that PSD file the clipped image arches.psd and place it somewhere maybe here on the corner maybe like that okay I can make it a little bit bigger I would do that um, bigger yeah this is kind of too small let me try again file um, place ps2 file maybe about that size okay it's okay maybe somewhere here on this corner so the plan is I want to have my text uh, around this uh, Arches National Park so select your image area open the text wrap uh, choose this option again okay but um by default uh, it will the InDesign will recognize this image as a kind of rectangular image so we need to change the type uh, in your text wrap panel uh, the last option contour options and the current default type is the same as clipping click on the drop down menu you can find detect edges choose that and we can control the gap so this is what I have uh, title and then uh, main images I change the shape of a frame and text wrapping with the um, um, just a regular shape and three multiple images and text columns and then maybe another text wrapping around a certain shape so this is kind of a basic part okay so uh, let me stop here and then we can go with I can help more maybe later